Right, Matt, thank you. It is 615 and another Wednesday means another morning with the mayor. Good morning to you, Mayor Arsenault. Good morning. Good morning. All here. right, let's uh, talk. We got a lot of stuff to get through. Good. I hear that the uh, Shreveport old business and old building Libby Glass is going to be demolished. It's been around for over 100 years, right? Here in this city. It, it has been. It's, it's a, was sad. A, uh, a real big part of our industrial mm -hmm. Uh, facilities, but this is very exciting because it's going to be purchased by NLEP, North okay. Louisiana Economic Partnership, uh, and it, they will make it completely site ready for another industrial site, and which is really good. That's that's kind of the latest thing mm -hmm. in, in in economic development is to have sites that are almost move in ready, so right. that people could build what they need to build. This will make it available. It's such a great location because of it's inside the city. Mm -hmm. It has all the utilities and rail spurs that it needs. So I'm very excited about it. What could possibly go there? What would you like to see go there? You know, there are all kinds of, uh, I'd love to see a clean, uh, clean industry uh, come in, but uh, I think what we're going to find is there are going to be a lot of people interested in it and we'll have a lot of options. Speaking of economic growth here in the Shreveport area, 50 Cent is continuing to buy up a lot of real estate in the area. That is good for our economic base as well. Let's talk about the two buildings on Texas. Well, uh, he he uh, apparently has purchased the Drake building, which was a longtime office uh, office supply and printing company. Uh, they they were in business for many many years, and I don't think anyone has occupied that property mm -hmm. since then. And then they bought one of uh, a building that has housed a number of clubs, and I have no idea what he's planning to do. But mm -hmm. he has a keen interest in downtown, mm -hmm. and and really intends to transform downtown in that area near the entertainment district. So let's talk about some of the things that he's already bought up. So we know the old Millennia Studios. Uh, the, t the two buildings on Texas. Are there any more buildings? There I think was he's one. looking at a number of different uh, number of different buildings mm -hmm. uh, in the downtown area, and he's interested in what we call the entertainment district down there mm -hmm. under the Texas Street Bridge. How does this help the economic base for the city of Shreveport? I, I think it creates a sense of excitement for downtown. Mm -hmm. I think it will enhance the demand for. Uh, residential development downtown and it just gives us a little bit of life and energy. I was going to say there are a lot of buildings in the downtown area that have sat vacant. They look ghostly and finally <laughs> maybe new life is coming to the area. I think so. Uh, you know, it, every once in a while you need something that's just an injection of, mm -hmm. of finance and energy and I think he's going to provide that. All right, let's talk about it, it's hot. Matt said, <laughs> you know, June, it, of course, it's it's hot. It's going to be less humidity today, but as we go through the summer, it's going to be starting to bake, right? What can we do for the, the cooling centers? Have you guys talked about that when they're going to be opening at the SPAR uh, different community centers? Well, ordinarily, we don't open those unless we have significant power outages okay. because most people have a means of uh, doing that. But our SPAR centers are open every day okay. and they will be open every day. And we'll we'll welcome people who want to get in and out of the heat. And the kids and the the families are uh, cooling off in the pools as well. That's right. We're we're really delighted that we have our pools open, mm -hmm. and we intend to keep them open all summer, which will really have an a place for positive impact, for positive activity on the part of the children during the day while they're not in school. All right. Thank you, Mayor Tom Arsenault. Another Wednesday with KSLA. Thanks for coming in early. My pleasure. All right. We're back in a minute.